Thank you so much. We're so thankful to God to be here today. And um, we get to travel a lot, and we're very thankful for that. And being able to travel, it gives me time to read. And I was reading this book, and it, it totally changed my mind about some things that I thought I understood. One of them was a verse in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And um, <clears throat> I was reading, and these verses talk about love, and they were always my favorite verses. And then one day when I read that book that I was talking about, it sort of made me understand them in a brand new way. And the light that I looked at them in, there's a, there's a verse in 1 John that says, God is love. And so what I want to do with these verses from, chapter, from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is I want to take them and I'm going to repra replace the word love with God. And instead of looking at this like a list of things I need to do, I want you to hear it as a list of things that God does for you. God is patient. God is kind. God does not envy and he does not boast. God is not proud. God is not rude and he is not self-seeking. He's not easily angered. God keeps no record of wrongs. God does not delight in evil, but he rejoices with the truth. God always protects. He always trusts. He always hopes. God always perseveres. God never fails. And we, what, what we want you to hear tonight is the part that says God always hopes. When he looks at you, he doesn't see your mistakes. And he doesn't see your past. He sees this great hope. He sees everything that you can be. Everything that he made you to be. And the good news is God never fails. We're a bunch of nobodies from a small town. And all we've done is just trust God with everything that we have. So we're here to tell you that if you will trust God, you will be greatly changed. And it won't be because you're perfect. It won't be because you're always right. Because you will be changed from the inside out. And it'll be because he loves you.